students of the Bible are trying to understand what the Bible says, what the text says, and what the text means. That's the focus of what we do when we study scripture. We're really trying to understand what is the meaning and the message of the text. But one of the things that's important to focus on is what the text does not say, what is not being said. And that's significant, especially when it comes to understanding the differences between Christianity and Judaism. One of the major problems that Christianity faces is that none of its major doctrines are expressed directly and clearly in the Hebrew scriptures. And that's a significant problem because they insist that everything that they believe, all of their major doctrines, are firmly based in the Hebrew Bible. And so when we study the Hebrew Bible carefully, in context, organically, reading uh, the entire scope of Scripture, we'll find that none of these Christian doctrines are articulated or expressed directly and clearly. For example, Christianity insists that the Messiah will be God in the flesh, one-third of the Holy Trinity. Now, you will not find anything in the Hebrew Scriptures that clearly states that the Messiah should be understood or seen as divine, as God. As a matter of fact, when the Bible does speak about the Messiah, it tells us that he will be someone who fears God. Uh, that's in the 11th chapter of Isaiah. The prophet could have simply said that he will be God, and that would have made it very clear. Or he will be the Son of God, or he'll be some part of the Trinity. But Isaiah simply speaks of a descendant of David who will be a man, a human being who will fear God. And so we don't see any hint of this Christian idea that we should view and understand the Messiah to be God himself. Secondly, Christianity insists that the whole purpose of the Messiah is to die as a sacrifice to atone for the sins of the world. That's also a doctrine that is simply not to be found in the Hebrew Scriptures. You will not find any passage in the Hebrew Bible which says directly and explicitly that when the Messiah comes, he will die as a sacrifice to atone for sin. And thirdly, Christianity insists that it is vital, it's critical to believe in this Messiah because if you don't believe in him, you will perish eternally. Your soul will be cut off from God. And again, this is a teaching, a doctrine that is simply not found in the Hebrew Bible. And so what happens is Christian scholars and Christian apologists are forced to try to shoehorn these beliefs back into the Jewish Bible by misreading the Hebrew Scriptures, quoting passages out of context, mistranslating passages. But when we look at the Hebrew Scriptures on their own terms, clearly translated in context, we don't see a hint for any of the major teachings and doctrines of Christianity.